heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean! Go beyond! Plus! Hello beautiful people! Today in Genshin, we are doing polls for... Pokomi. Now, I kind of screwed up a little bit. Um, I actually have already done one ten pull. Uh, not intentional, but it was garbage. So you know we can just ignore that, right? Yeah. So we're only trying for one copy of Kokomi Sanganomiya. Um, I said that I was gonna save all of my pulls until the end. I'm actually just gonna put this video out once at the end, but I'm gonna do like scattered pulls because otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to save my Primo gems. I only want one copy of, of Kokomi, and then I'm going to try for one copy of the uh, Everlasting Moon Glow, uh, which I really shouldn't do, and I don't recommend that anybody else do ever. Never go for the Weapons Banner. They are absolute scams, and I'm going to do it anyway, though. But this starting out one is just going to be two ten pulls because we've already done one uh and then probably some individual pulls unless we get kokomi on one of these 10 pulls and then we might do the individuals on like uh the weapons banner because as you can see i have some i have some of the stardust or star glitter but we're pretty close to our pity anyway on the five star for this i think well i say pretty close i think this is 70 right here hey look favonius warbo how awful wow that's terrible is that the thrilling tale no that's the magic guide that's the magic guide yeah all right let's go ahead and grab our uh four of these And do our four single wishes. Nothing. 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 And last one. Nothing. Wonderful. All right, well, we got Beto. That's awful. We just did 25 wishes and got a copy of Beto. But I have C3 Beto now. Ooh, woohoo. C3 Beto. Well, I'll be back with more pulls uh, in the near future. Also, for anybody who's wondering, because I didn't do this because I did it before since I accidentally did that. Um, we're working with a good fortune today. Wasn't great fortune, but I've gotten great fortune so many times that it shouldn't possibly be. I have gotten great fortune like six days in a row. It's actually crazy. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll be back with more soon enough. More pulls. I mean, we're almost at the end of September, so that's going to give us five in October anyway. So we'll see you soon for some more pulls. All right, welcome back, everyone. It is time for us to go ahead and do another one of these 10 pulls. Now, I did realize um, this is probably also going to be an incredibly short video. And the reason I say that is because, honestly, I don't so much care about getting copies of Kokomi. I just want one copy of her. I don't, I don't need her constellations. Modest fortune. That's the lowest fortune I've had in a while. I don't really care about her her constellations at all i just want to get the one copy of her so you know if i get if i get her in this 10 pull that's basically the end of the video well i feel like that was inevitable ah, Jing Shu. that was actually pity for the four star and there's kokomi
so I will go ahead and take this and I'm gonna buy one intertwined fate and with that one intertwined fate and do one roll here hey it's purple <laughs> okay so we're gonna take that we're gonna get one intertwined fate and with that one intertwined fate uh, let's do one more roll here. No, oh, nothing. Cool. Alright, so... Here she is. Kokomi. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and... Level her up, and I'm going to ascend her. First ascension. Let's go ahead and grab her. The free pull that we get from her. And we'll do that pull, too. Because why not? Okay, it's blue. <laughs> I don't think that's surprising. I'm pretty sure I got the purple in that one. Well, no. So we also should go ahead and activate Xing Shu's constellation. C3. Um Let me see, how far can I level her up? I don't know if I have enough to level her up to. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. I'll do that though. Yep, I can go ahead and ascend her again. I might have enough to go ahead and level her up to the point where I can get one more pull. Let's see if we have the materials for that. Um, so far, so good from the looks of it. Am I only losing 900 there? I am, but let's do it that way. Oh, I'm missing the Sango Pearls. Oh no. Hmm. I haven't gathered them yet, so we could go gather them. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something to keep the video a little bit longer because honestly, right now it looks like it's going to be like a five minute video. And Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, so Kokomi. Hey, I need 16 of the pearls. I honestly don't even know where all of these pearls are. I know where some of them are. So I guess I can, while I'm doing this, while I'm gathering these pearls, I talk for a second about, you know, the obvious uh, controversy around Kokomi. Now, a lot of people are very upset about how bad Kokomi is. And here's the thing that I think. I'm not gonna defend necessarily. Mihoyo or Kokomi or any of that. But I am going to say that I feel like Kokomi is actually filling a specific role. Like an incredibly specific role. I feel like Kokomi is meant to be first and foremost a tank. That is the way um, I view Kokomi. I don't think we're supposed to see her as a healer primarily. I mean, she is definitely a healer. Don't get me wrong. She's 100% a healer, but I think first and foremost, she's a tank. Um, obviously a lot of her build is, is goes around HP. You really want to have her with a lot of HP for, you know, how she functions. Healing effectiveness also is pretty good, which also increases her HP even further. And like reading into all of that, um, I really feel like Kokomi's build speaks to her as a tank above anything else. Where in the heck is this place? Am I even in the right place? I might not even be in the right place. I don't remember. Like I, 
don't remember. Um, but that's my honest thought on it. I think, I think Kokomi is filling a, a, a like a niche, I guess, in, in the game that maybe there was no real need to fill initially. But I don't know. I think we're gonna see what happens. Here it is. I think we're gonna have to see what happens. But I believe that. Mihoyo is going to push, uh, try to push away from what is the current shield meta, you know? Like, oh, if you have a shield, you're fine. You'll just survive. Because we already know that there's new enemies um, coming in 2.2 that can pierce shield. We know that for sure. We've already been, you know, we've already been able to see it and everything. We know that that's the case. I think... Kokomi is their way of saying, hey, get ready for us to destroy the shield meta. Kokomi is a perfect character for, you know, a destroyed meta, a destroyed shield meta, uh, shield meta, because now you have this character that is an incredible tank, has a bunch of health, and can also heal, and, and heal fairly well. I mean, it's not amazing. But she can definitely do it well enough. Like, she can handle herself healing. And that's why I really feel like Kokomi... I think her purpose, more than anything, in the way they... they Like, the reason they made her the way she is, is because I feel like they were planning to try and push away from the shield. The shield meta as it is right now. Because... It is kind of, you know, incredibly overpowering. The shield, the shield meta as it stands right now, is is kind of incredibly overpowering. I mean, you have Zongli shield, you don't die. You unga bunga don't die. Like it's 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 kind of kind of insane. Um, I can't really disagree with that. Uh, I feel like it's. It's just way too easy to not die with Zongli's shield. So if they decided that, hey, actually, we want you to have a chance to die. Like, maybe you're not definitely going to die, but we would like it to be, you know, where you could die. I feel like that's not... I feel like Kokomi could be the answer to that then. Like, I don't know. I still think that she's not perfect, not by a long shot. I think that there's more that could be done to make her better, uh, a, a fair amount um, that could make her better. But I think for the role that she's intended to play, like what they want her to be, again, I, I, I feel like Mihoyo is, is saying this is a tank, like the, the way her stats work, the way her talents function. Everything about her yells tank to me. So, I feel like what Mihoyo is saying is, hey, this character is a tank. You've never really had to use a tank before. But when we bust open your shield meta, this is what you're going to need to do. I mean, tanks haven't really been as big of a thing, you know, in the game. But when they, if they bust open the shield meta, like it seems like they're working toward, I suspect that... Kokomi is going to really have her place there. I think she's going to be incredibly important uh, following that. But anyway, that's that's all I really wanted to do. Like, really was just trying to do the pulls for Kokomi, but we ended up doing a little bit more just because I wanted to get more pulls. But yeah, um, I'll probably build her up some soon. And I plan to build her as a tank. That's that's my primary thing. I, I, I'm i going to look into the sets, though. I don't know. I might maybe do a video on her. I, I really don't know right now. It's going to depend. But thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And, you know, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and all the good crap that all the YouTubers always complain or always request that you do. Uh, but thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Later.